about life and safety. Several years ago, my friends and I were climbing in Grand Teton National Park, and we were all hit by lightning on Grand Teton. And so since then, I've been uh, researching it and trying to figure out what to do about lightning safety outdoors. And um, I've come up with some ideas of something you can do with your things that you have with you when you're either backpacking or if you're boating on the river like in a kayak. And so um, I'd like to show you something you can do to stay more safe from lightning if that, uh, if it comes up. And there's nothing you can do to stay completely safe from lightning. Um, you can do anything you want and it can still get you. But um, there's some procedures you can take to stay more safe uh, from lightning. So anyway, uh, usually when you're backpacking or uh, kayaking, you'll have with you, uh, or for overnight trips, you'll have with you some sleeping gear. And for kayaking, you may have also with you a uh, PFD. And so I'll show you what you can do with these things to stay safe from the lightning if, you, uh, if it comes up. So what I would suggest doing is to uh, use your sleeping pad from your backpack or your boat. And um, this could be any kind of sleeping pad, but mine's a, as you see, a blue foam sleeping pad. And I would also use a, uh, the rain fly from a tent. And that works well also for making a little shelter. And again, your, your PFD here would work well. Plus, uh, if you can find some rocks around you to uh, keep your rain fly down, that will also come in handy. I'll show you how to use these things to stay more safe from the lightning. Now, what you want to do uh, with these things, it, the idea is to get you off of the ground so you don't uh, act as a good conductor for the lightning. And so, uh, these these items will, uh, if you can get up on these items off of the uh, bare ground or rock, they'll keep you from being a good conductor uh, for the lightning and there'll be less chance of you getting hit. Or if you are hit, you will uh, not have as uh, bad of injuries because um, you won't have, uh, you won't be in contact with the ground, so you uh, won't get as injured, injured so bad. Now, um, what you want to do first is to, uh, when the lightning's approaching you, is to get your gear out and uh, make your shelter before you, uh, before it's last second, before you, uh, before it's too late. So what you want to do first would be to um, spread out your rain fly on the ground to. get your area ready, your little shelter ready. And so I would spread out your rain fly like this. Put that up there. Okay. Right there. Right here. Now if you are uh, be uh, on the river, you'll want to get away from the river, up on the riverbank somewhere, a little ways away from the river, and uh, not go directly under a tree, but some place between the trees, and set up your little shelter. And um, if you're up in the mountains, you would want to be um, not on top of the mountain or another high place. You'd want to be down lower somewhere. So um, in the time that you have, just get down as low as you can in an area to set up your little shelter. Okay, so. Uh, you got your rain fly. This is just for one person bivy tent, so it's pretty small. If you have a bigger one, that's fine. And uh, what you want to do is weigh that down with some rocks. So put these on the corners. Like so. Okay. Now, this uh, rain fly is not going to do anything for you for lightning safety, it's just going to give you some comfort from the rain. In, in your shelter, so it's just going to keep you dry at all. Now what is going to help you out is your uh, sleeping pad spread out on the ground here. So you could either double it over, you could double it over twice, or you can spread it out and use it once. Either way it will work to keep you off the ground. So you're not a good conductor for lightning. 
And now you have your your uh, sleeping pad down there. Now if you're on the river and you have your uh, life vest with you or PFD, then that will come in really handy to, get, to give you even extra protection to get on top of that um, also. And so you have an extra thick layer of protection between you and the ground. Now what you want don't want to do is, again, you don't want to be in contact with the ground. So what what would be preferable here is you don't want to be uh, laying down in this. You don't want to be laying over with parts on the ground because anything you have in contact with that is going to make you a good conductor. So what you want to do with this is just to get on top of this and uh, squat down like this for your um, for your protection. Now um, what you'll do then is you will uh, be squatting like this again with your shoes. Your shoes also help as well as the uh, other foam things under you to keep you off the ground. And so, this is the way that you take the, uh, the precaution. And then what you do, I'll just show you briefly with this other rock here, what that would look like once you get in there. And you'll just get into it. Like this. Your rock comes off to put back on there. Again, that's just for protection from the rain. And you'll get back on your life vest or just on the sleeping pad. And this would be your protection in the rain. If you need to, you can hold down the sides like this in the wind to keep it from catching. Okay, so that's a great little precaution you can take from lightning if it comes up when you're outside. Now, um, I have a uh, short little uh, clip I can show you also from when I used this just uh, recently when I was on the river and um, I had to take uh, cover from a lightning storm and I got in my little shelter that I made up quickly and then um, after the most of the lightning had passed I was just hanging out in there uh, as the storm was passing and I was waiting in there also some extra time to see if it was um, going to um, you know start back up again so I just didn't want to get out too quick and head back down the river because um, the lightning could you know start coming back up again if there's another front coming so anyway I was just hanging out, hanging out in there for a while I took a short little video to uh, show you what it's like inside the shelter uh, during a storm and at that point when I took the video I had actually rolled over and laid down on top, being careful to stay on top of all the uh, layers here. And so um, next I'll show you a short little clip from uh, a real life example of what it's like inside the shelter during a storm. Thank you. All right, well, we're on the uh, current river in Missouri and just survived a severe thunderstorm with lots and lots of lightning. And I'm here in my emergency shelter I've built up real quick by pulling some stuff out of my kayak on the river before the storm hit. And so I have a my rain fly around me here. And I've got um, my um, PFD or life vest down there I'm laying on plus my blue foam sleeping pad and got some snacks a camera of course and I stayed dry and survived it so that's great and it's just still raining right now so just staying warm and dry in here biding my time so anyway that's about it